scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The Word of God sustaining the ability to impart faith. Are we still here? Number four. The Word of God has the power to transform the word of God has the power to transform transformation is the name given to the process that makes you like Christ in experience transformation the word of God has the power to transform to transform means to change states to transform means to change levels. God's servant Bishop David Oedipo calls it next levels. It's a grace that can move you. Thanks. Be to God who causes us always to triumph. So that the version of you that was there yesterday it's not the same one again that you will meet. Why seekest the living among the dead? Transformation. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. Please write it down. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. Shela bakaruski atabalada. As newborn babes, it says, desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. That means, as a new believer in Christ, naive, ignorant, not knowing anything about the faith life, I can begin to engage God's word. And from a new believer, you come back and meet a matured believer. Look what the word of God did to the disciples. Come, follow me, he says, and I will make you. And they came as naive fishermen, tax collectors, all sorts of people. And through three years of in intensive word mentorship alongside the Holy Spirit he called them these are they that turn the world upside down transformation by the power of the word by the power of the word are we together transformation by the power of the word first Peter chapter 1 when you read from verse 2 down to four it says grace and peace be multiplied are we still together first second peter i meant to say second peter chapter one from verse two second peter chapter one grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge 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 the knowledge of god and of jesus our lord so grace can be multiplied peace can be multiplied next verse it says according as his divine power hath given to us all things that pertain unto life and godliness again through knowledge the knowledge of him the word that has called us into glory and virtue. Verse 4 says, Whereby are given to us exceeding great and precious promises, that by them we might be partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. The word of God. 
able to translate you, transform you from a lower version of yourself to a more superior version. John 15 and verse 3. The word of God is able to clean and purify. It says, ye are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. No matter how you come, the filthiness of the mind, all kinds of wrong ideas, cultural ideas that are wrong, religious ideas that are wrong, all kinds of ideas that come from our African context that impede and limit people. The word of God is able to clean a man to a point where you become transformed, a superior version of yourself. Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2 says, I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye offer your bodies unto God a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. He calls it your reasonable act of worship or service. Then verse 2 says, do not be conformed to this world. Is the Greek word aeon, the thinking pattern that comes with this age. Do not be conformed, but be ye transformed like they teach in primary science that an insect can go through the egg then the lava still remember then pupa then adult man can change states in life intellectually man can change states in life spiritually man can change states in life financially that the level that you were by January or by June, by the time you enter the ember months, you have changed. The world is a ladder. You can climb it and it can elevate you to realms and dimensions that were previously not captured in your experience. May the word of God change us in the name of Jesus Christ. The power to create the power to save the power to impart faith the power to transform can I add one more the Word of God has the power to heal and to deliver Psalms 107 from verse 19 Psalms 107 from verse 19 they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he saves them out of their distress next verse he sent his word and his word he led them and delivered them not just out of demons alone but out of destruction Deliverance is not just separating you and a spirit alone. It's separating you from a limiting obstacle. You can be delivered from things. The word of God is able to heal. I know this from scripture. I know this from the testimony of my own life. I know this by the privilege of ministry it is true that the word heals I am the Lord that he led thee I am the Lord your healer You sent your word and it healed my disease. Sing it one more time, personalize it now. You are the Lord that he led me. You are the Lord my healer you sent your word you sent your word and it 
We try one more time with understanding. You are the Lord that He left me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. In John chapter 11, Jesus tells his disciples, Lazarus sleepeth, let's go and wake him. And the disciples said, no, 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 he's not been feeling fine. If he's sleeping, then he's good for his health. He said, no, he's gone. When they got there, Mary and Martha began to cry, where have you been? He says, don't worry, I'm the resurrection and the life. He said, I know you've taught us that already. But he says, even now, roll away the stone. When they rolled the stone, the word from this earth realm issued a command, Lazarus. If he did not call a name, every dead person would have come back to life. He had to choose the one because the word of God was going to enter the realm of the spirit and select. I want to do this just for your glory. If he said, come forth, rapture would have happened immediately. The word. He said, Lazarus. And the word entered the realm of the spirit, searching dead bodies and found him and said, the master is calling you back. If the word of God can bring a dead body back, a dead finance, dead relationships all you need to do is to name it it's a risk to just say I want change no Lazarus come forth he said and he that was dead he came out in grave clothes I want you to believe what I'm saying the word of God truly has power come forth For someone you are saying it's too late apostle you don't know what has happened in my life ah the miracle of the raising of the dead was to show you that things can be restored they are taken for a prey and none saith not thinketh saith restore Some of you, as I'm talking, you are just remembering things that have left your life. I lost money. I lost people. Now, where will my help come from? The word of God has power to heal. Not just heal your body. It can heal your mind. A broken spirit can dry up the bones. This is the reason why a sick body, watch this, someone can come on a crutch or on a wheelchair or be blind and deaf and while the service is happening, the person is still sitting there. In fact, even when the preacher is preaching, the man is still there, faith is being lifted. And then the word of God comes, stand. And someone who for 25 years, 15 years, Acts chapter 3, let me show you what the word of God is able to do. Acts chapter 3, please give us from verse 1. I just sense that the power of God is strong here. We're going to pray shortly. The Bible says, Peter and John went together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour is the beautiful that they had timing the discipline to go and pray 
you don't pray anyhow and want to grow methodically you must discipline yourself there's something called the time the hour of prayer verse 2 and a certain man lame you see what being reduced to nothing does it erodes your name there was a naming ceremony for this man but he had been so reduced nobody knows or cares about his name don't let your condition be higher than your name this man's name started going down and all that is left is his condition a certain man means it's not a parable there really was a man for certain his name we do not know we just know his condition lame from his mother's womb so it was not a mistake of doctors like Mephibosheth from his mother's womb he was lame the Bible says whom they carried daily at the gate of the temple which is being called beautiful the Bible says he came to ask for arms of them that entered into the temple ah, God is speaking now God is speaking now God is speaking now verse 3 it says who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple he asked them for arms now a miracle is about to happen follow carefully verse 4 Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John he said look on us do you know what it means to look verse 5 gives you an explanation of what it means to look every time the Bible says look or look steadfastly that's what it means it means give heed expecting to receive that's what it means to look when God says look on us it means pay attention something is about to leave God to you to look does not just mean see you are already looking the Bible says the man was already looking on them it's a mystery it's a coded communication look on us he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something from them verse 6 and Peter said silver and gold have I none <laughs> but such as I have such as I have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up what did he have that word rise up and walk do you know when he said rise up and walk the man did not rise up read your Bible he was there looking at them and said what are you saying and Peter said I need to help you next verse the Bible says and Peter took him by the right hand and said the word has already come you are stopping the word from walking he lifted him up and the Bible says he leaping his bones receive strength the same way you are seated here now for many of you you are trying to rise you may not be lame physically but there are things keeping you down Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1 and 2 we're about to pray my God my spirit is fired up I just sense there is a strong anointing in this place Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1 there is such strong anointing yes things are shifting in the spirit the power of God's word you sang it already running out like running physically please whether you're in out like running physically please whether you're an usher or not i want you to help them so they don't injure themselves everything that represents delay i bring a word in the name of jesus the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I stretch my hands. May the grace for speed come on your life. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. No more delay. Help them please. Help them. No more delay. In the name of Jesus. Every power sitting on your destiny. Stopping you from experiencing speed. The name of Jesus I take authority by the word of the Lord be delivered now be delivered now Papa. Toto 
Be delivered now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, it's time to rise higher in the spirit. Bring them out. Help them. Please help them. Pray. This is a word conference. Your life is about to change. Skapatesh kaparos katena kapakata. Emprakato shoto pako shoto pakata liata. Speed. Kalabaranta skatabere kotoshiata. Is someone praying? Are there people of prayer in this place? Skatabara katabere kete pakotoshiata. the name of the Lord. Amen. Who is Victoria? I'm hearing the name Victoria. 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 The Victoria I'm talking about is holding a child. Is there any Victoria here? You are holding a baby. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. Is there someone like that? Come. Let it rain. My dear, this is your child? Is your husband here? No, sir. Where are you coming from? I stayed across, opposite. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You see, from next month and for the next three months, what will happen in your family will amaze you. Amen. You will never forget this conference. Amen. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Father, I stretch my hands over Victoria. You have brought her by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I release you. And your husband step into a new level of supernatural blessing. Take that grace. You will never, never be the same. I decree and I declare that everything that is not the planting of the Lord over your family here at this world conference in the name of Jesus be delivered from it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is someone that's all right, please you can give them the child. The Lord is showing me someone here. The power of God is going to come upon you. There are patterns of death over your family. And the Lord says he wants to bring it to an end. We will not take time. We will just pray and then we are done for this morning session. We will hopefully have the time to minister and pray for the sick. Please don't be embarrassed. I am seeing a woman here. You have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are wearing blue. Look at this.
Look at this. Listen. Please look up. Let me teach you something. I know that there's been a lot of abuses, immaturity, imbalances in the administration of the prophetic. This has come because of insufficient or inadequate mentorship alongside lack of scriptural balance. Are we together now? When the gifts of the spirit are administered out of the reference of scripture, they will lead to a plethora of imbalances. However, there is the accurate system of administering the gift of the spirit such that believers are edified and then Jesus is glorified. Look the people who have come before the Lord. You see, when miracles happen like this, it is more than just a show that a man is, you don't have to kneel, my people. It, it is more than a show that a man is anointed. No. There is a bigger agenda to that. When you see so many women coming to stand unashamed, trusting God for a miracle, God, you see, there are messages behind every prophetic word and every miraculous manifestation. God is speaking about fruitfulness. It may not just be biological fruitfulness alone. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. We'll sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. I'll start by ministering to the officer woman. I have profound respect for people in the military and people in the force. They labor day and night protecting our regions, protecting our nations. And anywhere I see them, not favoritism, but I show them the honor that befits their sacrifice. Madam, thank you for coming. Lay your hands on your stomach. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for everyone, but I want to pray for you. Do you believe in miracles? In the name of Jesus, look at me, madam. I stretch my hands towards you. I don't care what the medical situation is. In the name of Jesus who sent me to this island and by the power of the resurrected Christ, I decree and declare unto you, according to the time of life, go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to pray for all of you. I really, really can sympathize with you. And it is not an easy thing to get up and come standing for yourself. Believing God for this. All of the troubles that many of you may have to have gone through. This is why he sent us. We come as instruments revealing his love. Revealing his power. I want to pray for you right now. Truly, there is power to heal. Truly. I want you to know that if you believe this, you will be surprised. Forget about whatever medical report. You see, just focus on Jesus. They looked unto him, the Bible says, and they were not ashamed. Please place your hand. Don't cry. Place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray for you. Please help them because the power of God will come on some of them. I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and think. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. Something is happening to you as
I'm, as I'm singing this song. My God. Look at Lee, my brother Lee. Look to Jesus. A miracle is happening in your womb. No power in existence can stop you. Hallelujah. Now I command every spirit behind this. You know my voice. I speak as one sent. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Help them. I command those devils out of their bodies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare, help that man. I'm sure he's standing in for his wife or some person. In the name that is above all names. May your womb be open now. May your womb be open now. In the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God. Let me tell you this. There is a vision that I saw this morning. I will tell you in the evening. But there is something to settle on your land here. I'm going to be praying a prayer this night in this place. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him that everything that is not, it, that does not name the name of Christ, that territorially holds people down, except Jesus is not Lord, he must give way to them. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray for you, my dear sisters, in the name of Jesus, in the presence of all the men of God, veterans of the gospel within this region. We agree by faith as a family of faith and we declare in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, go and return with your miracles. Go and return with your miracles. God who located you and brought you out by his spirit it does not matter whether the challenge comes from you your husbands or both in the name of jesus we correct every anomaly in the name of jesus christ please return back to your seat rejoicing return back to your seat rejoice Return back to your seat rejoicing. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, we'll, we'll be rounding up now. The Lord is showing me someone, you are here, but I'm seeing that you came from Lagos. There's something that has to do with Lagos. I don't know whether you came for this program or you had something that brought you from Lagos. The Lord wants me to pray for that person. I'm seeing a connection with Lagos. Is there someone like that? Very quickly, and then I'll pray with you. If there's someone like that, please, very quickly. I'm not saying you live in Lagos. That's not what I'm saying. You're not domiciled here. I don't know why the Lord is asking that I pray for you. I want to pray for you. There's someone you have the call of God. The power of God is coming on you now. I thought we'd do the impartation in the evening, but I'm saying there is God has been training you in the secret very there, there are dimensions of the prophetic and dimensions of the healing grace god wants to to in a greater measure bring these graces these twin graces they don't have to rush out just hold them please In the name of Jesus, you don't have to bring them out, my dear. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, upon such ones, male, 
female you have been in the cave of Adullam being walked upon by the Spirit of God for some of you no one knows you you are still going through the dealings of the Spirit in the name of Jesus the grace Kalapos you will never be the same you've touched this grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched this grace your life is changed Let me pray for you now. The power of God will come on one of you in front here. The moment that happens, I'll now pray for the rest. Just hold it. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, connected to Lagos, I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that everything that represents failure, everything that represents retrogression, in the name of Jesus, whose I am and whom I serve, I declare let it come to an end now for you and for all connected to you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray in Jesus name please go back maybe just one who is Sam the Lord would not let me rest I'm hearing a name Sam they call you Sam Sam like S-A-M is there anyone those following online you can connect by faith it's not only those in the local um, environment here God can be speaking please make sure your name is Sam who is that what's your name Sam you are Sam what do you do sir a coach I do sports I want to pray for you Touch your, your left leg. <clears throat> if I, I want to pray for you so that something will not happen to your bone here. Amen. That it will affect you in sports. You see what I'm saying? I hope, I'm not a prophet of doom. Huh? You hear what I'm saying? But I don't pray for you. I'm seeing something that is breaking your bone. And this thing is affecting you almost like ruining what you are doing. But can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Number one, I pray that you will help this man. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest they dip their hands in iniquity. He keepeth his bones and none is broken. I declare may the Lord keep and preserve you. And then I pray for your career and that which you do, the grace to excel. Let it come upon you. In the name of Jesus. And for all of you, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord called you out by himself. I decree and declare that which you do. I bless your hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go and prosper in the name of Jesus. Now, I'd like you to open your mouth in one minute. What one thing are you trusting? that between now and the end of this conference must be a testimony in your life i release my faith with you please open your mouth and pray by faith pray by faith pray by faith unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come is someone talking to the lord pray by faith maybe concerning your job this is a word encounter maybe concerning your spiritual life greater levels of fire grace anointing Maybe for your family, your children, maybe for your loved ones, maybe for your region. Go ahead and pray. Are you praying? Don't be tired of prayer. It's important to pray. Don't say I prayed about it again and again and nothing happened. Pray. Pray. 
Manta parakata barete kete prete kete beledarush. Shala parakata prende kete prete balada balada bos. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.